Travis Kelsey had an interview with Wall Street Journal magazine, which was dropped right before the big game between Kansas City Chiefs and the Eagle against his brother. It was uh, the rematch of the Super Bowl, the last uh, year Super Bowl. So, uh, so J.R. Moringer does a great job, they said, uh, laying out all the st stages of Travis Kelsey preparation from the mistake he made as a young man messing around with the potential to do this, uh, to do his non-football career has been managed. Even before he was allowed into Taylor's universe, there was already an infrastructure in place around the Travis that has nothing to do with an, an, an NFL. As his co-managers manager says in article, the NFL just his side hustle. Like they they are member of his team who are talking about putting him in action movies, uh, the world Marvel uh, actually come up at one point. LOL. If Travis Kelsey is uh, messing, is a effing Marvel movie before Keanu Reeves. Uh, I, I, I like that idea that he's being the Marvel he superhero. Can you imagine if, if he get uh, not audition if he get the role as the Marvel superhero? The whole world is going. This you know these teenagers. When the teenagers go to the go to the movies, the parents will go. And so this will give a big boost for the Marvel. I can only imagine probably gonna make over, over a billion for the first day. I'm just uh, getting excited here. Uh, I mean, he is good looking. He is uh, charismatic. And can you imagine him and Taylor Swift going to the uh, premiere? That would be, wow. I'm excited just to think about it. That's a good idea. They, uh, you know, J.R. Moringer was talking about it, and <clears throat> he is very talented and multi-talented. He has good voice. He's uh, he sings really well. He can probably sing, uh, record uh, a music as you know. Taylor so can what make him think about uh, I'm just Travis Kelsey being a uh, superhero? The Swifties will buy, and he's gonna be just number one again on iTunes chart in America, just like his uh, Christmas song. But uh, <clears throat> so Johnny Marshall Jr. says so we already have seen this in weeks since he and Taylor has been together because he is con content to be on sideline when it's her time and is under no illusion that he that the reason he is such a big deal these days is a hundred percent because of her. But we we haven't heard it from him until now. And in his interview, he spells out and sings it out. This man is out there and these streets in an interview with Ossi Juna dropping song lyrics and gushing and I mean gush about Taylor's song writing talent. He is big her biggest fanboy and the reason why that's making our rom com hearts explode is because it's hitting the rom com G spot. The mind her mind the her mind, her words is what Taylor is most proud of and it's critical to, to her identity. She sees herself first and foremost as a songwriter, a storyteller. And this supersized meatloaf, she's just fallen in love with a, a parent studying her work like the X's and O's on his uh, team playbook. And uh, their relationship you know, attracted the whole world because they come out like uh, Moringer said he is like a fanboy. He was the Taylor Swift fan before he even met Taylor Swift. So it's making them real organic. Their relationship is just captivated by the whole world. And they, as I said before, they they give me a really, really, a, you know, joy to see their story. And I'm just cannot get uh, enough of them. They just giving me just make me happy, especially in this day and age where the you know with, when with all this uh, trouble in the world they just giving giving me uh something else to think about instead of being a chaos in this world so it's good things so uh, there you have it that's my idea about their uh about 
uh, Travis Kelsey's interview with uh, some of I'm gonna continue maybe later to cover some more but for now this is really good I enjoyed very much thank you so much for watching